all right guys so in this video what I'm gonna be going over is how to use personal branding to get clients for your social media marketing agency so here uh, I'm basically gonna be more focused on LinkedIn and how you can do it through there but you can also use these same principles on Facebook which I've been doing as well having a little bit of trouble uh, with that as well some Facebook issues but for now what I'm gonna be going over is exactly how to use LinkedIn to start getting some inbound appointments some people contacting you first which in my opinion are the best 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 sales calls that you have very very high uh, basically yeah, close rate on that if you have you know a good sales process um, but it's it's just so good to just get some warm some some people booking on your calendar first instead of the other way around um, of course one of the things that I always preach is like you know having a more proactive approach where you're like out there also doing some direct outreach especially if you're starting off but this is a great way to start getting some people in to your calendar so and and that really just comes from having a the right messaging optimizing your profile based on that messaging and also creating content that's going to attract those people to you um, the the people that you want to work with right and obviously when they come to you um, they see the value and they're pretty much like at that point uh, easier to sell because they've been kind of pre-converted through your content um, and also through your profile and all that good stuff so I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that and how I've gotten basically high ticket clients reach out to me and book on my calendar first so what I do is I'll basically have an optimized profile so whether you're on LinkedIn or Facebook or even Instagram for that case um, what you want to do is you want to have a optimized profile now um, on top of that you also want to have consistent um, you know very relevant content going out to your niche um, so basically before you even optimize your profile before you even create content what you need to understand is your niche you know basically the specific type of client that you want to attract into your business so who is it that you want to really work with who is it that you feel that you can actually help you know what are their problems you know what do they face what problems do they face on a daily basis what do they actually want like what do they actually want right because no one actually wants leads no one actually wants more people to like call up you know randomly to, to pitch their services like no one really wants that uh, what people really want is for example for each niche it's a little bit different um, but really like dig into that like what specifically do they want what kind of like patient do they want if they're a dentist like maybe they want like an Invisalign patient because that's really what creates the most revenue for the income maybe if they're a plastic surgeon they want like both Botox patients um, because those, those are the like the least what, what are they the least um, the, the one that they can least get sued on and brings the most bang for their buck um, like the most revenue for the least amount of time so really digging into that like it really comes down to understanding the problems that your specific client has and having the knowing what solutions will help them with that so what what is it that they want and what they actually need and then understanding the language to communicate that to them all right and that just simply comes from uh, talking to them which is by far the best one um, do not be afraid to do that um, you can say you're a college student who's like doing like a assignment or whatever like that if that makes you more comfortable you'll see very little resistance on that and then you can just talk to them and ask them you know what their problems are all that good stuff that's a fast way to get that done on top of that um, you can just go to forums Facebook groups all that kind of stuff and you'll really get a sense of like their languaging what they struggle with what are they looking for what have they done in the past like all that stuff you'll just simply just get by reading like the Facebook groups and it's something that I've used as well also another sneaky way not a sneaky way but it's like a little known way is finding uh, books in your niche on Amazon and then finding taking a look at their marketing or products that are geared towards your niche so maybe there's like a book for financial advisors a program for financial advisors on marketing or something like that you can take a look at their their marketing and see like what specifically they are tuning into like what what are they like mentioning in their marketing that's gonna give you an insight into what your niches problems and desires are because they've already done the research and they know what it is so 
do not copy them. Like that's not going to work, but really study it so that you get an understanding and you basically leverage the work and time they've put in to understand your niche a lot better. So Amazon books, uh, products for your niche, um, whether it be for like sales or marketing, that's going to be really, really good for you um, to really understand your marketing. So those are the first, the very first step to this is honing in on who your specific client is. And then once you understand that, you understand what their wants, needs, what their problems are, what they struggle with, what they've tried, what they think uh, will, will be the, the solution to the problem, what the myths are that they believe are true but are not, then you can really start this process here of optimizing your profile, whether it be for LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, it's all the same stuff. And usually for each platform, all it really is for each one of them, they have like a headline, a bio, um, or a summary section where you basically say what it is that you do. Like, what, what is your offer? What What is it that you specifically do? This is part of your branding. So basically, I help mortgage originators fill up their pipeline and increase referral partnerships, which is a big thing that they want. They want to get more referral partners and they want to fill up their pipeline, okay? And then in the about section, I have more copy on, it's basically like a sales letter where basically I go in and hone in on you know what what their problems are what the solution is and all that good stuff and then i have a call to action at the end very similar to a sales letter and then i have a call to action um i have some articles as well that i've written in the past um and all of this is geared towards my niche and, and basically geared around what they want and what they want to run away from like their obstacles and pain points all of that is geared around that like my entire messaging is geared around that so it's very very important to get clear on that and it's not anything too hard it's not anything that like requires like months and months um it really is something where you just have conversations and you understand like hey like what is it that they want and you're gonna find a pattern like literally like every niche has like the same problem so you're gonna find a pattern of each one of them or what they're dealing with so what I then do is once I optimize my profile to make sure it looks good, credible, all that good stuff, I have some endorsements, all of that stuff I've talked in another video um, on how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. Um, I won't go too deep into that um, because I want to keep this video short and very straight to the point and value filled. I'm just kind of going over at a high level what to do to use a personal brand to get clients. So. <laughs> Once I've optimized my profile, whether it be on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram, what I then do is I'm going to create content. And this content is geared specifically towards my clients. Um, and usually what I do is I do go over some of the how, like, you know, how it is that my process works and all that kind of stuff. But I try to focus more so on, like, their problems, you know, what, um, what some of the myths are and bust those. Um, also showing some case studies, some testimonials, all that good stuff, and then really connecting with my audience and really uh, putting myself out there consistently. And so what ends up happening when you show up very consistently is you get people reaching out to you first, um, asking about what it is that you do. So this is all the content that I've been putting out here specifically towards my niche. And it's a lot of, like for example, like, photos of me with like content and all that kind of stuff, videos um, that are just providing value and also uh, just things that make them think or they answer an objection that they have or really raise their awareness on really lead generation, marketing, sales, all that good stuff, okay? Because keep in mind, there's people that are, there's potential clients out there that are in either three different uh, stages of where they are in the buying cycle. So there's three. A mentor of mine, uh, he had a he had a phrase for this that I really like, which is the slow lane, uh, the side lane, slow lane, and the fast lane. So the side lane is basically people that are not aware of their problems and not aware of the solution. So they don't know that they have a problem um, and they don't actually know what the solution is. So these are people that are unaware of, you know, what, what's really going on like they understand something's not going right but they don't understand what the problem is exactly so it might not they might not be aware that they're relying on referrals so that they're not really seeing that predictability in their business 
And so that's causing them like headaches and, and all this kind of stuff and like, you know, like uh, emotional ups and downs, and financial up and downs. So they don't really understand. So you have to raise their awareness and content like this helps with that. Raising their awareness, also raising their awareness on the solution, uh, which brings me to uh, the second one, which is the slow, uh, the slow lane. So this is people that are problem aware. So they understand they have a problem. They understand that, you know, hey, I'm not getting business and I think this is the reason why. Like this is, I'm just not having that predictability. Like I can't, I worry about where my next client has come from. And they just don't know what the solution is. So they're kind of just searching around. They're looking at different people, talking to different marketers. They're kind of like just kind of looking around, um, getting on webinars, getting on sales calls with other companies and all that good stuff. Okay. So that's the second type of client that is going to bring you closer to someone who's going to close. And then the third person is the person who is problem aware. So they know what the problem is. They know exactly, hey, like I'm not getting people. I can't. I don't have consistency and predictability. Like I, I'm just relying on referrals and all that good stuff. And I know that my solution is using advertising, using digital marketing to get me more business. I, I just don't know who that person is or if it would even be a right fit. So those are the ones that are closer to getting a sale as compared to the other ones. The other ones, they need a little bit more like you need to either raise their awareness or show them what the solution is. And at that point, that's where you can basically sell them on you and what your product is, your company and all that good stuff. So I hope this was I hope that was helpful because that really like it kind of opened up my mind and, and seeing where someone is in the buying cycle. Um, and as you evaluate clients that you've got on or prospects that you've talked to, you can probably categorize these in certain uh, places. So really, the sales process is basically taking them through. Uh, through those buying cycles and compressing the time so that you're not actually like getting you know people that are just not aware that what the problem is they they know what it is on the sales call you basically tell them um, and then you show them what the solution is and all that good stuff so those are the three types of basically buyers and and what their buying cycle is where they are in the buying cycle and really the the content here is geared around that like geared around you know taking the information that you know about your ideal client and then putting it in, into speaking to those three types of buyers, like the ones who are in the side lane, slow lane, and fast lane. So you basically uh, show your offer, you show what the solution is, you highlight what some of the problems are, you handle objections, you know, why this, why now, why me, all that good stuff. And it's really tailored into your content um, as well as providing value that uh, show your expertise and also give them something that's actionable and will give them like something that they will actually get results for um, and will actually get them to come to you. So like if you raise their awareness on something or maybe you give them like a tiny bit of information that can give them a small result, um, which will then have them come to you for a much bigger result. Um, and so that's where high ticket clients come from. Um, and if you wanted just uh, just to recap and, and basically boil it down to two things it's the it, it's basically think of it like a triangle at the top you have like your messaging your ideal client you have your messaging for your ideal client and you basically i guess you could say you communicate that through your profile which you optimize specifically for that ideal client and then the second part is you create consistent content based on what you know about your ideal client the messaging that you have for them and all that good stuff okay so you do that pretty consistently. Um, you're going to get people that reach out to you. Of course, it's going to be kind of slow at, at the beginning. Um, but if you're showing up every single day for multiple times in each day, you're going to see traction. You're going to get people um, reaching out to you first. And just to fuel this up even more, you can start as you're adding connections or maybe following people on Instagram or maybe adding friends on Facebook. They're going to start to get into your funnel of content. So say that someone adds you, here's the cool thing about it is some people won't engage, so they won't like like your stuff, but they'll still be looking at it. Like, for example, this has 187 views. So out of those 187, of course, some just scrolled by it, uh, but there's some people that read it and there are people that are actually reading this stuff. Um, so it might not be completely vi visible, but there are people that are circulating around you and seeing what you're, what you're doing. So definitely don't be discouraged if there's no engagement. That was one of my biggest like, sticking points is man there's like no one liking this stuff but 
keep in mind that people are like their profile stalking you. You do it. I do it. Like humans do it. So people are watching your stuff. They're, they're looking at it and they just need that, that spark to just get them to reach out to you. So it's, it's really just going to be like the more they invest into you and watch your content, the more likely it is that they're going to reach out to you first once you do put out a solid offer. So here's basically you know what I do putting out consistent content and then you do get people reaching out first which is basically the, the best way to to get clients and to convert at a high level is to use this right here so you can actually pre-convert some people before even you know reaching out or anything like that they, they basically reach out to you so uh, I hope you implement this I hope that this is something that you use right away and add to your arsenal of client acquisition strategies if you're cold email cold call and all that stuff just do this like it honestly honestly does not take time at all um, three to five minutes and you're pretty much done you have a piece of content out there um, when it comes to taking videos or anything like that don't overthink it really do not uh, just post it um, when it comes to written content as well you know just just post it trust me just post it it's about just doing it and not really thinking too much about it um, like you've already done the work by honing in on who your client is what messaging you know what messaging to send out to them and all that stuff just put out the content and the more consistent you are the more that people will reach out to you so try this out um, and go ahead and implement this um, on top of what you're already doing if you have any questions um, specifically on the content part on the profile part um, then there are other videos on my channel or you can simply just leave a question down below in the comment section and I will answer you through there as well alright guys hope this was helpful bye